My husband Jacob and I have been budgeting for six years now and while as of now it feels like we've really gotten in the habit of budgeting, it wasn't always that way. So today I'm doing a little throwback and showing you one of our very first monthly budgets. Hey guys, I'm Marissa and welcome back to my channel. Here on my channel we talk about life and money and how you can enjoy life while still accomplishing financial goals through the use of a budget, which is why I love to talk about budgeting here on my channel. I always share my monthly budget reports with you guys and share all the income we brought in and how we spent it. And I've been doing this for a few years of sharing our monthly budget. But when I initially started budgeting, when my husband and I got married, I wasn't sharing my life on YouTube then. So I thought that it would be kind of a fun throwback to have you look at our budget six years ago. So the budget template that I will be showing you is one that you can get yourself on my shop. I will have a link to it in the description box down below so you can check it out there. It's an instant download, works in Excel and Google Sheets. I will say that the budget template that I will be showing you actually wasn't how I had my budget set up six years ago. And don't worry, I'll show you a little screenshot of what our budget actually looked like in Excel six years ago. Um, was not fantastic, but I kind of just put all the numbers back into the spreadsheet to make it a little bit more clear and concise so you could see how we were spending our money six years ago. So let me take you back to September 2015. My husband Jacob and I had been married for two months. We were 21 and 23 years old. I was newly 21. Jacob was graduated from college for one year. I had just graduated from college in May, so we were just starting our like new adult lives together. We had our first like after college jobs, very entry level business jobs. And we were also working on paying off a substantial amount of student loan debt. That was a big goal that we were wanting to work on. And so we made a lot of sacrifices then so that we could pay off our debt as soon as possible even though we were just starting out in our careers. So, oh man, time for the throwback. Let's get into the budget. Okay, the first thing that we have is our income section. So Jacob's income and my income at this time. So Jacob and I actually made very similar amounts of money. I actually think we made exactly the same amount of money at that time, but Jacob had some additional deductions come out of his paycheck. So he brought home 1885 per month and I brought home 1954. So the I know that the only things that were taken out of our paychecks during that time were our 401k contributions. We were still contributing what we needed to be able to get the employer match while we were paying off debt. And so we contributed 4% into our 401k so that we could get the employer match. And honestly, I'm really glad that we did that because it's provided more time for that money to grow. And maybe it took us an extra month to pay off debt than it would have been if we didn't invest early. So that's fine that we did that. And then I was on my parents' insurance still and Jacob was having his insurance deducted from his paycheck. So I think that's why he took home less. But as a grand total for household income after taxes, after the 4% 401k and insurance, um, we took home 38.39. So almost $4,000. Um, if you've been following along with my budget reports now, then you know that we take home um, over twice this amount usually. So yeah, income has definitely gone up over the last six years. So initially when I put everything into this budget template, I was just putting in the actuals because when I was actually budgeting back then, you know, six years ago, I wasn't actually budgeting, but instead just like tracking how much we were spending in each category, which isn't officially budgeting. Although when you are getting started with budgeting, it, I feel like I've said budgeting 20,000 times, but when you are getting started with it, it is important to be tracking where you are spending your money and that way you can actually come up with a realistic budget based off of where you're spending and maybe you're surprised to see that you're spending a lot in one area but not very much in another so we were tracking our money but didn't really have a budget but for the sake of showing you guys this i'm inserting the same exact amount into the budget and the actual column just so that you can be able to see this percentage um point because i feel like that's helpful as well so that's why they're exactly the same because i didn't really have a budget but this is the actual spending that we did that month i had it all tracked from my budget spreadsheet way back in september 2015 so the first line item of expense that we had was our tithe. So even though Jacob and I were working on paying off a lot of debt, um, it was still important for us to be able to give to our church. And so we gave $350 that month to our church. And this is still something important to us that we do today. And one of the most fun things that I think we get to do with our money today. And I'm really glad that we 
establish the habit even when it seemed really hard when we were just starting out and had so much debt and had um, a lower income. So there's that. Next we had was rent and utilities. We rented this tiny one bedroom apartment. It was like 700 square feet. I guess actually that's not like that tiny, but one bedroom apartment, one bath. Um, it was full of mold. It didn't hold in heat. We shivered all winter long. And in summer it didn't hold in any sort of like cooling. So we didn't even buy an air conditioner unit. We just like roasted in the summer. Anyway, I just remember that time being like really miserable. We were really cold in the winter and really hot in the summer. Um, but all that to be said, we paid 1120 each month in 2015 for our one bedroom apartment that included the utilities that we had to pay as well. So that was 29% of our take home pay, which was kind of high. And though there, there were like not many options out there. And so I, look at this of being like 30 almost 30 percent of our take-home pay i'd love for this to be closer to you know like 25 percent i think is best but um this was you know kind of high and even for us being two people living in a one bedroom apartment you know like that's that's a lot of money um anyway let's move to the next thing next we have is internet we paid for internet it was apparently 34.99 for internet in our apartment then we had electric, like I said, we um, didn't really run any sort of air, we didn't have any air conditioner or anything like that. So in the month of September in Portland, Oregon, 3518, that was just basically keeping lights on and things plugged in in our apartment. Next we have is phones. So we paid um, $100 a month for our phones. That was $50 for my line, 50 for Jacobs. We were on our parents' plans and so we just paid them each month for that. Next we have is car insurance for our two cars that we drove then. We drove a 98 Camry and a 2001 Tacoma and our insurance was 94.15 for both of those cars. Next we have is groceries. We spent $208.18 on groceries, which I feel like is pretty good. Remember this though was six years ago, so things were a little bit cheaper, I guess, but we shopped mostly at Winco. If you, I don't know if, if Winco is like a national thing or if it's just a Pacific Northwest thing, um, but we shopped at like the cheapest place you could get groceries. And we even shopped in like Winco bins where you, you know, the big bins of stuff, you scoop your own rice and beans and everything. We, we did that um, and we really limited our grocery consumption. So $208. Next we have is gas. We paid $50.30 for gas. So Jacob and I lived on the outskirts of Portland in like Portland Metro. And then we actually worked downtown. So our employer paid for us to have a pass to the transit system. And so we figured that that would be a better option for us to have free transportation from the train that runs into Portland, which is called the Max. And so we had our Max Pass that was paid for by the employer because if we didn't do that, we'd have to you know, pay to drive, pay for gas to drive into downtown and then pay to park. So it was gonna be much more expensive if we did that. So instead we rode the Max and I absolutely hated it. And it was like an hour on the Max each way. Um, to work, home from work, uh, we started our work. We started work at 7 a.m. So I remember we got on the train at six. So therefore, we woke up at like 5 a.m. every morning to get into work, and then we, you know, get home around like I think 4:30 or five um, off the max. I just remember that season being really hard, <laughs> honestly. And I know that people have way longer commutes than an hour, you know, on the max. But I just never felt comfortable. On the max um, I'm also a germaphobe and that was really difficult for me to ride the the max into work but you know we did survive it was hard and I look back on that season like just thinking of it now and like talking about it like man that was like that was hard but we survived we did it um, anyway so that's why we spent so little on gas is because we only drove like a mile to not even like a half a mile to the max station and then get on the train and ride it into Portland so that's why. Next we have is miscellaneous, which geez Louise, $216 on miscellaneous, which is really high. And that's why there are like really few categories in our budget. As we're getting started with budgeting, like you don't really know all the categories of things you're gonna spend money on. And so a lot of things just get lumped into miscellaneous, but as time goes on, you may notice some patterns of things that you're spending miscellaneous dollars on. And so you may make that its own category. Like I think probably eating out was maybe in here, but I do remember when we were in this season, we spent about like $25 a month on eating out. We didn't really go out to eat. Um, we were, 
we really limited our extra spending so that we could put as much as we could to debt. Um, but yeah, there were, I guess, a few miscellaneous things that we spent money on that month. You always need a miscellaneous category because there's always something random, but I will say that this is a lot uh, being, you know, almost 6% of our income. So, so we spent $2,200 on regular expenses, mostly needs, <laughs> these mostly needs. And next we have is our debt section. So I don't show you guys this in my budget updates now because we don't have any debt now besides just like our mortgage. So in this season, we were paying off student loans. We had over $87,000 of student loans. And before we got married, we started working on paying them off separately. So I graduated in May and Jacob was had his job, I had mine right when I graduated, and we were individually working on paying off our student loans with those paychecks while we were still like living at home. And then I remember when we got married, we were generously gifted some like straight up money from people, which was so nice. And so we right away took that and paid off a student loan with that money. So at this point um, in September, we paid $1,300 to our student loans. And if I remember correctly, I think the minimum payments for all of our student loans was close to $1,000. I wish that I had the full breakdown to show you like how much we were paying to each loan because I remember um, I had a federal, Jacob had a federal and a private, and then I, I also had a private. So we each had like, so together we had four different like loan servicers, but then our federal loans, I don't know about you guys, but ours was broken up into like each semester basically. So there were so many different little loans that made that up. and eventually like when i started getting better at like my budget spreadsheet i had those each individually like shown in our budget spreadsheet to show which ones you're paying i don't have all that information for you because i wasn't tracking it as well back in september of 2015 but all i have to say as a grand total we put 1330 to our student loans and then our ending balance that month which i did apparently put in my spreadsheet was sixty thousand dollars now moving on to the savings section of our budget during this time we were putting three hundred dollars into our emergency fund i think we initially started out with like a thousand dollars in our emergency fund but we wanted to bump that up to be like three thousand just because even like a month of rent was over a thousand dollars and so we wanted to have that covered so while we are still paying off our student loans more aggressively we are saving a little bit each month towards increasing that emergency fund to get that up to three thousand so we we're putting three hundred dollars a month into that as well so our total out ended up being, you know, 38, 39. So our difference here was zero. That makes it a zero based budget. Every dollar was accounted for. But that is, yeah, a full look at what our budget looked like way back then, September, 2015, when we were just getting started with marriage, with budgeting and figuring out life, paying off debt. Um, our income was substantially lower and man, those times were, not easy. So if you are in a spot right now where you feel like your financial situation isn't easy, if you're not making the income that you want, if your debt seems like it's overwhelming and you don't know how you're ever going to get out of it, I want to let you know that I've been there and I know that it's so hard. That was such a difficult time in life, I feel like, when we made so many sacrifices to be able to pay off our debt, but I am grateful for where we are now. We've been able to grow our income, we paid off our debt, and we're working on additional financial goals now, and I'm really grateful to be at the spot that we are now and i just want to show you guys where we started so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video of this little budget throwback let me know in the comments below what it was like when you first started budgeting because yeah it was pretty rough for us but we made it and it got better as time went on and now it seems like just a regular part of our monthly routine also don't forget that you can check out this budget template with the link in the description box down below i will have that down there you can download it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and i'll see you in the next one bye